Okay, folks, so what I have for you in this video is a bunch of deliveries here, um, a lot bigger than what I usually have uh, delivered. And this is because I've got something new and different for the channel, finally. Um, this one I kind of already opened because the box was soaking and it was damp when they handed it to me, so I wanted to make sure I got it out and it was okay. So I'll kind of open that one uh, in a second. But these two obviously haven't been opened yet. So what we'll do is open up this big box to start with, purely because uh, it's massive. I need to get inside and get the content out. Um, and also I've had to kind of adjust my setup here. I've got the camera slightly further away so it can fit everything in. Uh, so maybe I need to rethink my uh, recording layout or setup. But anyway, let's open this package. Okay, so that should be enough to allow us to get in. This has been nicely packed, to be honest. Some polystyrene in here, no idea what from. Obviously not the original. But what I have finally purchased is a Nintendo 64. Um, I finally moved on from handhelds here. There's loads of random stuff. Some like carpet underlay or something here. But... Uh, at least the person who boxed it took some care in making sure it was protected. The sides, not so much here. That's pretty much flush against the box, but hopefully it hasn't been damaged in transit. Um, so let's get this out. So there it is. That's what I got ordered. It's a boxed Nintendo 64. Um, I will put on the screen how much it cost me. I think it was around 65, 68 pound or something like that. This is boxed. It's got everything apart from the controller, which I kind of overlooked when I was bidding. I got a bit too uh, excited and just threw in my maximum bid and, in, and it won but the box doesn't look too great but that's fine i'm not looking for actually the most perfect box here just get that off to the side instead what i went for is and i need to make sure these are included a Four parts not working, that's what it was described as, and I'll explain a bit more in a second. Um, for parts not working, a pretty much complete Nintendo 64. So here we've got the cables, just checking. These have got the elastic band around them, so I, I don't know whether the person has probably re-packaged these up, but these look like to be... Yeah, the, surely these have been opened and used. Um, before so we got that's like RF out so pretty much all of the stuff it would normally come with including oops obviously the Nintendo 64 itself and some documentation which is good some of the booklets that it came with obviously colored and they they definitely smell old I mean if you look at the uh, color of this I'm pretty sure they didn't print these on beige paper I've seen some people say that if you don't have a game inserted, then it won't boot on properly. That's fine. So what I ordered there for is a game. Uh, this one, I put an offer in, they accepted it. It's Zelda Ocarina of Time boxed. Um, I think I paid £23 something for this, which, um, as you can see here, the box has got part of it torn off, uh, which is not great, but that's fine, because it comes with the game itself in great condition, all of the inserts that it came with originally, um, and it's even in the original box, 
and a plastic bag. Uh, so this is in pretty nice condition. I'll give this a quick zoom in here. Let's have a... Yeah. Um, I would just double check in there. You can see the reflection for the stamp. I couldn't see that in the listing, but since it came with all the original um, box and all the leaflets, and they looked pretty much dated, um, I was confident it was a, a legit version. And then finally, so let's just get this out of the way for a second. You probably kind of guessed what this is already based on what I said towards the beginning. This is a controller just because, well, I didn't have a controller come with the uh, Nintendo 64 itself. So if I'm going to be able to fix it and test it, I'm going to need a controller. So I picked this up, up off eBay. I wasn't looking for one that didn't work because uh, they were going for around £10 and then any like replacement parts such as the, the thumbstick, they were about a tenner as well. And this in total I think cost me 14 quid for a uh, pretty good condition actually. I think there's a bit of play in the thumbstick there, but that's fine. Uh, but yeah, this is in pretty much good condition. So that's what I have. New project. I mean, it could just be that we plug it in, put a game in and turn it on and it all works absolutely fine, in which case, uh, that'll be a bit frustrating, but we'll have to wait and see. Right, so this is uh, where we're at with the <clears throat> Nintendo 64. So, got it here, we've got a uh, Zelda, or a game in anyway, doesn't matter what game it is, we've got, got a cartridge in, and it doesn't boot. Um, or rather, I don't get any signal on the screen. I don't get any picture. Now, asking around online and, and finding out a few bits of information about the Nintendo 64 in terms of what it outputs, I think it outputs a signal that is too low for any modern uh, HD TV to uh, understand and, and display. So what I kind of need, and it's quite difficult to get hold of given just obviously the current pandemic and also now with Brexit affecting uh, imports to the UK and such and such. What I do need is a adapter that will, if I can just get it here, an adapter that will convert a component, no, composite uh, connection, so the yellow, white and red, so yellow for video, left and right audio, convert that, ideally upscaling it, uh, into HDMI. So here, I've, I've picked this one up off Amazon. It does 720 and 1080p, um, takes five volts, DC power, uh, and will hopefully upscale whatever I put in to 1080p over HDMI. Now, obviously at this stage, there'll be many people watching this and will have said to themselves, get a, proper upscaler, the proper ones that are designed for retro gaming in mind. As I said, there's currently no real way to get any of those in the UK uh, without waiting quite a long time. And I just needed something that will just output a signal. I'm not looking for the cleanest signal. I'm not looking for the best um, upscaling or line doubling or whatever. I just need to see if I can get signal out. If I can get a signal out, this device is working. So I picked one up. I think there's about 20 quid off Amazon. So just your standard cheap um, device. I did look at the reviews of lots of them and this one had a few reviews saying it worked with their Nintendo 64. So based on that, um, I went and got one. So let's test this. So what I've actually got here, this is my um, like field monitor. This is what I use just slightly off screen so I can see what I'm doing with the camera above. Um, it accepts HDMI in um, and obviously I've got it powered via battery so all I need to do is plug the HDMI into this and hopefully um, we would get a signal. This is just so I can test it on camera here. But here we go. Right, so that's on. We're in the HD uh, 1080p 
mode. I'm just going to hold that there. And let's turn this on. So this turns on, that's fine. We've got power there. Game's in. Let's go ahead and turn it on and see what we get. And still nothing, nothing on the screen at all. Reset it a couple of times. Okay. The mystery continues. So obviously now back to doing some more research online, trying to figure out why this won't uh, display anything out. Um, and I'll get back to you. Okay, um, so I've done a little bit more research on this and found out that actually there is something that was probably very annoyingly straightforward that obviously I would overlook this being my first Nintendo 64 console that I'm trying to restore. Um, and that is the fact that there is a jumper pack or an expansion pack or whatever it is missing. So because this is missing, it's almost in effect an incomplete circuit inside the console. So I've been on eBay, found someone selling a official one. Well, at least I think it's official. Um, Nintendo 64 jumper pack. So this is, I think it has a, yeah, NUS008. Um, this little device is purely to complete a circuit, so to speak. So I just plop it in just like that, presses in, put the lid back on, and again, back with the same setup. So here's my HDMI upscaler. Game's in. The, cam the field monitor I use for filming, which is obviously our, gonna be our HDMI uh, destination for this device. So everything's switched on, ready to go. And let's see if we get anything. So let's turn it on and turn that on. And do we get, oh, we do. There we go. That is Zelda Ocarina of Time running on the Nintendo 64. So there is no audio as in we can't hear any audio, but um, I can pretty much guarantee the audio is going to be working. If the video is working, then chances are the audio is as well. Not to rule that out, I will test that at some point um, separately, but there is signal. Doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. Obviously, I need to get a controller and test this out. So let's find, oops, didn't mean to click that. Let's get the controller, plug it in. Open this file, yeah. So obviously this person's save game here. Okay, so um, yeah, that is a fix to this not working. And I can probably see now, actually, um, lots lots of these online let's turn that off uh yeah lots of these on ebay posted as for spares and repairs because they can't get it working on their modern hd tvs and really all that's needed is a jumper pack now obviously there will be devices out there that don't work even with this jumper pack expansion pack whatever it is um there will be other issues with them but for this one this one that i picked up the only issue was it didn't have this jumper pack uh, to allow it to work, which is <laughs> slightly frustrating when, I don't know, I've been kind of asking around for help for a couple of days and I suppose maybe now the first thing that people should ask when some reports a Nintendo 64 doesn't work is do they have the jumper pack? Um, and then if it still doesn't work after that, then there's other issues with it. So. Hopefully I can pick up one now off eBay that has a jumper pack and still doesn't work and we can get into how this exactly uh, would need to be repaired. But honestly, that's another one of those videos where 
a very simple fix is literally just a small component that was missing. Thank you.